Hey guys, are you like me? A lonely weeb that has no friends so he makes YouTube videos that nobody watches to fill the empty void that is his life? Yeah. You've probably already played Gal Gun Double Piece on PS4. And if you haven't, you're about to be creeped right the fuck out. So Galgun is a game where you play an average dude in high school, or I'm sorry, college, that gets shot with a Cubid's arrow that turns him into the super mega playboy from DNA Squared. His powers have awakened. He has become the mega playboy, the most notorious playboy in history. He's so dreamy! Now every single female in the vicinity is trying to jump your bones. So how do you retaliate? You shoot him with an orgasm gun. Of course. Of course! And no matter how many you shoot, they just keep Coming. <laughs> Get it? Coming? Uh. But all joking aside, these girls are really persistent. They do kind of remind me of zombies. In fact, this entire game kind of reminds me of another rail shooter, House of the Dead. Just replace all the zombies with waifus and all the gore with cute things, and you got yourself Gal Gun Double Piece. Or maybe they could just call it House of the Lude. Aside from being a rail shooter, this game has also got strong dating sim elements. Your character actually has stats that'll affect what you can say to the girls as you play through the story. And there's alternate routes and paths you can take during the levels, but you ultimately end up in the same spot by the end, so it really doesn't matter that much. You also have this really badass special move called the Doki Doki Mode, where you can take at least one to three of the girls to this lewd purgatory, where you literally poke and rub them to the point they have an orgasm so strong it forces all the other girls in the area to also have an orgasm. And if love is a battlefield, I'm pretty sure that's the equivalent of a lewd love nuke. There's also boss fights that are actually pretty fun, but you'll notice pretty quick that they're rehashed, which is kind of a bummer. Now, I know what you're thinking. Rattle, I can't play this. My girlfriend or mom will walk in and then they'll judge the shit out of me. Not to worry. Gal Gun Double Pieces got your back. Click in both the left stick and the right stick and boom, you've activated what's known as the Mom Alert Pause Screen. Disguised cleverly as an RPG genius. There's also a piece of DLC that is literally $90 that allows you to see through clothes. It was originally released in Japan as a joke, but then people actually started buying it. The thing that makes it really stupid, aside from the price, is that if you actually download it, you still have to buy it in game. And since your items don't carry over through each playthrough, you're gonna have to buy it each time you play through story mode. And you usually don't earn enough money until the third stage. On top of that, there's an item in the game that helps you see through clothes almost just as good, really making this $90 DLC almost completely pointless. To give you an idea of how much $90 really is, with $90 you could buy Dead or Alive Extreme 3 and Sinran Kagura Shinobi Versus. You could get No Man's Sky and 4 Hot and Ready Pepperoni Pizzas. You could get $90 Menu McDonald's Burgers. You could get 3 Body Pillows. Or you could even, uh, <coughs> or you could, uh, uh, donate to my Patreon. <coughs> but in all seriousness, if you're looking to get the full Gal Gun Double Piece experience, you're looking at spending at least $200. $60 for the game, and then $140 in DLC. What the fuck? For a game that's more or less an Axe body spray commercial turned into a rail shooter with anime dating sim elements, it's actually not that bad. Not sure if it's worth the full price of $60, but as far as rail shooters go, it's actually got quite a bit of content. If you're into anime dating sims or rail shooters in general, I think it's worth a pickup. Just hold off on the DLC. <laughs>
as always, I'd like to give a huge shout out to my top Patreons, Typhoon Timmy, Graphics Kong, and Jack the Ripper. Also, I want to give a huge shout out to my top donators and subscribers on my Twitch channel. Without everybody's continued support, I wouldn't be able to keep on streaming and making videos, so I'm really grateful to you guys. Thank you so much. And with that, I'll see y'all in the next video.